this video we're going to have a look at the unitary method with fractions. The idea of the unitary method is to base calculations on one part of the whole. Firstly, finding the fraction of a quantity. Rather than multiplying 3 eighths times 496, we're going to use the unitary method. The part here is the 3 eighths and the whole is 496. So 8 parts equals the 496, the whole. To find one part, we'll divide the whole by 8 as well. 496 divided by 8 is 62. Therefore, 8 parts is 496, which is equivalent to one part being equal to 62. Now we need to find three parts. Multiplying 62 by 3, we find the answer is 186. So 3 eighths of 496 using the unitary method is 186. Let's do that again. Here we have 2 fifths of 105. Again, the 2 fifths represents the part and the 105 represents the whole. So 5 parts equals 105. One part will be 105 divided by 5, which is 25. We need to find two parts. By multiplying 21 by 2, and we get 42. Two-fifths of 105 is 42, found using the unitary method. The other way we can use a unitary method is where we have a fraction to a whole. Here we have two-fifths of something equals 42 and this is this question rearranged. Let's say we need to find all well, two-fifths of what equals 52. One-fifth is the part. So two parts equals 42. Therefore one part equals 21, as we found here earlier. Now we're after finding the whole here, so 5 parts will be the whole, so 21 times 5 is 105, which is what this question was earlier. Let's do that again with a new question. Suppose 3 fifths of a certain amount a whole is 51. The part here, again we're working in fifths, we know that 3 parts equals 51. Therefore dividing by 3 we can find 1 part. 51 divided by 3 is 17. We're after the whole which is 5 parts Seventeen times five is eighty-five. That is three fifths of eighty-five equals fifty-one. Using the unitary method with fractions.